So no, it's not deja vu. RTX 4090 GPUs, the connectors are still melting. Like I know people have talked about this literally ever since the 4090 came out. Every time I browse Reddit, I can't believe the amount of melted connectors. I, it's almost like I need to make another video on this because every single time it'll be just a regular user posting their whatever 4090, you know, different brands. I've seen basically everything from Asus, Gigabyte, even the Nvidia one. One, and they'll show the GPU melted, the connector melted, and this is not something that just happened in the beginning. Remember, when the 4090 first came out, there was that debacle, right? Gamers Nexus jumped in, they did all this testing, they were talking about that 12 VHPWR cable, the very high power cable being the issue, and they said basically NVIDIA came to the conclusion that it's the way users were plugging in the cable. It wasn't fully seated, which I think accounted for a very small minority of those problems. And now let's hear a word from our sponsor, VIP-CDKDeals.com, a Windows 10 Pro CD key. Add to cart, you put in code CC20. This will also work on Windows 11. You wanna go into your settings in Windows, change and adjust your CD key, click activate and now let's go back to the video usually when you put the cable in like you'll hear a click or something to that effect not all of them of course click it depends if you're using the regular nvidia adapter or maybe your power supply if it's one of the newer ones or it has a newer cable it's going to have that special cable already it says 600 watts on it so that were that, that was like the early issues those you know people were like oh it's like 0.1 percent of the amount of 4090 sold remember Remember, a lot of 4090s were sold. We can now glean some of the, the data going back that if you see a lot of 4090s were problems, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a higher incidence. It just means like a lot of them were sold. For being an expensive GPU, that is certainly surprising. Let me give you one anecdotal example. When the 4090 came out, my local micro center, um, they told me they sold 150 units on day one, literally like sold out. When other GPUs came out, even the much cheaper RTX 4060 Ti and GPUs like that, they would tell me they sold maybe four, eight, maybe in some stores like 10. So that's a much cheaper GPU. By then the demand really dropped. People were excited for the 4090. Therefore they bought them in bigger numbers. So what's going on here with these continuous melting adapters? Well, I think it's a couple of things. First, there were those early ones where certain people didn't plug it in properly and that would have accounted for some of those issues. And then if you guys on Reddit take a look at like the cable mod subreddit you'll see that i think the cable mod stood behind their adapters which did seem to have issues maybe they weren't you know done perfectly maybe the connection wasn't as secure they've since updated those connectors and of course i think they even helped cover some warranty work on some gpus and things like that obviously some people did have warranty issues if their 4090 adapters melted there were cases where some gpus just didn't seem to be covered like MSI I believe and things like that but overall it seems like it's a problem that's well known now so those cable mod issues were one thing they've issued like a new adapter which you know depending on how you want to you know do it I would personally want to use the highest quality cable that I can and plug it in directly with the GPU Obviously, you can take the steps to make sure it's safer, plug it in all the way, make sure you don't have any like crazy bends in your cable, make sure everything is seated properly. Those, you can mitigate these issues, but it seems like a lot of people that still have these problems, they've done all of that. They were very careful to correctly seat the cable on the GPU. They were very careful not to have any crazy bends or anything like that. Remember, crazy bends sometimes are unavoidable. The 4090 is often very wide making some cases just not really compatible with it. Even like a Lee and Lee old dynamic case with some 4090s, it's hard to close the glass without like bending it. And that's a very popular case. I imagine some, you know, smaller cases make it really difficult to do a proper bend of that particular cable. So is there anything updated or anything happening? Well, there were reports that the newer 4090s are using an updated connector. So maybe this happens more 
people with earlier and older GPUs, but it seems like Nvidia especially has updated a lot of these connectors. So there's a good chance if you bought a newer 4090, it might already have the updated connector, but I would check that specifically to the model that you have. Maybe it's down to the serial number or something like that. Maybe that will have reduced problems. But anyway, this really isn't that great of a problem to have on the 4090, which is one of the only GPUs this generation that's truly amazing. You know, with 24 gigabytes of VRAM, everything else this generation has been a little bit hit or miss, especially some of the mid-range and cheaper GPUs that have maybe less VRAM and things like that. So it's a shame that this little problem, even though it is, you know, happening to a small population of 4090 owners, let's be honest, if you own a 4090 and you know this problem is out there, in the back of your mind, you're always gonna be thinking, could my 4090 start to melt? And that's enough to keep some users, you know, maybe on a little bit funny footing. I wouldn't even be surprised if some people were like, you know what, I'm just gonna buy a 4080 or something like that just to not have to worry. But some 4080s also exhibited this issue, albeit a lot less than on the 4090, but the 4080 probably sold less anyway than the 4090. All right, guys, let me know if this issue is something that bothers you, if you're a 4090 owner or not. Remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys on the next video.